Hello, this is Jeff with Jeff D. Landscaping, and today we are going to try to mediate this scale buildup on this beautiful Vesuvius water fountain here. So the first thing we're going to do, the, 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 cause of, the root cause of this uh, buildup that you see, this white residue, and it's very common, especially in hard water uh, parts of the country, essentially the whole southwest United States, um, is a typically is a problem of the pH of the water. When the pH of the water gets too high, you're going to get scale buildup on, on any water feature. And of course, typically you'll see it at the edges where the water, where it dries in the water, where the water comes down the fountain and it dries on the edges. So what we're going to do today is we're going to test the water. I'm going to show you how to test the water. And then we're going to put some mild chemicals in there to mediate this problem. And then of course, we're also going to eliminate the chance of algae growing in this uh, uh, particular fountain because as it warms up, as you know, you're going to get algae growth if you do not chlorinate your, any body of water. So um, I've got a t t typical test kit here. This one's a pretty comprehensive one. Um, you really don't need to go with one quite this extensive, but any pool supply uh, supplier will have a, a two-way or a three-way test kit. Um, so first of all, we'll just take a little sample of the water. Try to get down as deep as you can into the water. Um, there's instructions on any of these test kits, very simple. And then we're going to test the pH right now. So we're going to put the pH indicator in. Typically, almost all test kits require five drops of any type of indicators. And then we're going to test for chlorine to see how much chlorine is in this fountain. Now, whenever you do a small body of water like this, you have to use dry acid to correct the pH because uh, liquid acid is very concentrated. Too much acid will actually eat away at the plaster portion of the fountain. So it's, it, you don't want to over, over chlorinate or over acidify your water here because you will do damage to your fountain. I can see already that the chlorine level is great. It's got a nice reading on that. Typically, you want between two and three. Now, our pH level, as you can see here, is almost purple, which means it's off the charts as far as pH goes. Typically, it should be in this yellow to orange range here. Um, anytime it's red or into the purple range, that means that the pH level, is, the alkalinity is extremely high. So you can kind of see here our pH reading, you know, we're probably pushing 9 or 10 on the pH chart here. We should be down in this, actually for a fountain, I would err on the side of keeping your pH lower into the 7.2 or 7.0 range. You're not swimming in there, so it doesn't hurt to have it a little over acidified, and it'll actually eat away at some of the calcium and scale on your fountain if it's done properly. So now what we have to do, we have to obviously see how much acid is going to be necessary so with the with the the second step of the test we're going to determine how much acid is needed for this body of water so whenever you're testing you're going to be required to find out how much water is in your body of water your test kit will tell you how much dry acid to apply to correct the pH to the level that you would like it to be I'm Jeff Lee with Jeff Lee Landscaping and please look forward to our next post have a great day thank you